What's up, everybody? This is the Bowtie Boss here for Fight Combat Sports News. Obviously, I'm fresh off the gym, so no Bowtie tonight. And quite frankly, I don't necessarily deserve one this time. So I'm recapping tonight Canelo Alvarez versus uh, Fredo Angulo. And look, guys, I really thought this thing would go a totally different direction. Uh, not so much because of Canelo. I feel he did exactly what I said he was going to do. Uh, flashy combinations and show that speed early. And I, I felt he was going to tire. Uh, the real problem here was that Alfredo Angulo did not show up to fight in, uh, in that fight at all. You know, he threw these pity pat punches, never really uncorked. And man, I, I couldn't see a single power shot thrown by Angulo in this fight. You know, he was just kind of tapping, tapping the gloves of, of, of Canelo. And I give Canelo credit on, on a lot of that. You know, some guys, sometimes guys don't do things because you've forced them not to. So say when uh, Canelo fought Floyd, you know, he didn't go in there all reckless because Floyd wouldn't allow it. Same thing is why guys don't just run after Guillermo Rigondeaux and try to uh, blast him out of there. You know, he hits you hard enough and makes you think twice about things. Now, uh, did Canelo hit Angulo hard enough to make him change his mind? Who knows, man. Uh, I, I say that Angulo looked like a zombie at the weigh-in, I figured maybe it's just weight loss. You know, Canelo looked pretty beat up at the weight, uh, the weigh-in as well from from his missing of weight. But also walking into the the arena that night, Angulo looked like he had no interest on being there whatsoever. You know, his eyes were down and he was just walking in, going through the motions. Even when he got into the ring, he was just kind of going through the motions, not really getting in there, never mixing it up, and then. Uh, the the most animated he was all night was complaining to Tony Weeks about stopping this fight, and, and look guys, if if um, nothing else, the referee's in there to protect you, bro. You, you can't sit there and take unanswered shot after unanswered shot with the viciousness that Canelo was throwing them, and having not done anything back. You know, I could see Tony Weeks not stopping this fight if the entire time. Angulo was landing, you know, hard body shots. He was landing hooks, and you could see that he was actually tiring Canelo out. All that uh, Tony Weeks was saying is, look, man, if I let this go on for another 10 minutes, that's what's going to happen for another 10 minutes. So uh, my sports book account, not happy about this fight either. Uh, you know, I, I lost a little bit on a parlay. I lost a little bit on uh, what I called, I didn't say easy money, but I said it's, uh, slim, you know, pretty easy pickings. And then uh, the only thing I did win on was the under at uh, ten and a half rounds. So, you know, maybe uh, that is a little solace in there. Um, but again, man, uh, Canelo did what I thought he would. You know, he came out there. He was fast. He was sharp to begin with. His footwork really doesn't allow him to get away from these punchers, though. You know, uh, I mentioned he had horrendous footwork, and and you know he kind of showed it here in this fight where he uh, throws a vicious four or five punch combination but doesn't leave, doesn't leave the area, doesn't turn, doesn't push his opponent to the side, doesn't even, uh, you know, in some cases even hold or anything. He just kind of stands there and waits for incoming. Uh, fortunately for him this time, Angulo had no incoming. So, uh, you know, great win for Canelo, man. Where does he go from here? You know, if he gets the winner of Martinez and, and uh, Cotto, I think he's got a very good shot and... and uh, not even just a very good shot. I really think that he beats both of those guys, especially at this stage in their career. Uh, you know, hopefully for him, by the time he moves to 160, Gennady Golovkin is gone, and and he now has a new division with which to work. Uh, this win did a lot for Canelo Alvarez. I'm um, I'm actually proud of kid. He, he he did what I expected in Angulo. You know, uh, I feel bad for him, man. Uh, then on to, you know, Virgil Hunter. All this talk of him being being um, what do you call? Uh, uh, trainer of the year, you know, I thought he did a horrible job in the corner. It took him forever to get ice on Angulo's eyes, knowing that Angulo has a uh, tendency to puff up around the eye. And then also, uh, you know, he was like coddling him. He was talking to him like he's a little baby. And he's, he's up perro, man. This is total toy. You, you need to get in there and, and do like Papa Trinidad used to do and slap the shit out of this guy. Get him, wake him up, turn him into a fighter unless he knew that this guy just wasn't in there. Um, so, again, great fight for Canelo, horrible night for, for Angulo. Uh, this is probably the worst I've, I've probably ever seen him perform. And uh, it couldn't be, uh, couldn't be on a worse night for him. This is the biggest fight of his life. And, uh, you know, for Fight Combat Sports News, it's the Bowtie Boss, Sans Bowtie.